Geek Ninjas. This is me, Ninja Geek Win. I don't want to look too weird, but uh, we are at the Zamperini Stadium right now, and I guess this is my intro. I'm not even going to talk about goals or anything. I may talk about that after the video, but look at this. Oh yeah, this is a big booty stadium. A beautiful sunrise. Look at them clouds. <laughs> look at them clouds. Okay, and there's all of it. I'm going to the bathroom because this gal need to go. So I'm going to see you ninjas later. and it's definitely little because like let me tell you i told myself okay if i ever if i'm gonna get lazy i'm most likely just gonna record some running stuff but i surprised myself because i mostly recorded high jump stuff so there we go anyways i'm gonna talk about how i feel about zamperini because you know i'm recording this days after in fact it's been so long now the pen versus south dual meet is tomorrow so now i have to record that Anyway, so I did the 5k and I jump and like honestly <laughs> Both of them did not go to plan at all whatsoever. I told myself for the 5k. Okay, I gotta go 645 um, Each mile and then I'll get 21 minutes exactly or maybe even just above a little above that and that's it but like first off <laughs> Oh, sis, let me tell you, it's not eight laps, it's 12 laps, so like, you know what? First mile, it was okay, but at the same time, all these girls are like blasting me away. I'm like, Team Rocket, we're blasting off again. So there they go, your Belinda, West Torrance, all of that. And then I was just kind of left in the dust, so I had to run this mile by myself, which was okay, because you know, adrenaline's still there. But like, second mile, my... In my two miler mind is like, oh yeah, we're almost done. But I have to like convince myself, hey, you're not done. So I, like, so I think personally, the two mile was the hardest part. And honestly, since you know, I kind of acted like it was a mile race at that point for the free mile, the last mile, it, that was actually easier than the two mile. So yeah, but either way, I did not hit my goal time. <laughs> I got like 23:44. And I was last place. But you know what? You know what? I feel pretty good about it. You know why? It's not every day you do 5K. And not a lot of people do the 5K. Like I probably keep saying, I was the only girl from my school that did it. So you know what? You know, you just have to try new things even if you're not good at it. And you know what? I have no regrets about that race. Even my pacing and whatnot, absolutely no regrets. And there's always gonna be some weird meet where they have like weird events like the 5k or 2 by 800 so you know what pretty sure there'll be a 5k sometime in junior year or senior year and I'll hit it again I will gladly do that 5k again because now I know what to do and I don't know why I was so tired for the 5k like I've been training super hard but not too hard to the extent it's like, oh my god, I can't even run on race day. You know, not that hard. And I like ate the good- I literally woke up early so I can hydrate and eat properly. So like, I don't think that's a problem either. So I don't know why I was tired for the race, but yeah, that's what happened. Sorry. Anyway, and then there was high jump. Honestly, I would- I was more anxious about jumping over a bar than running 12 laps on a track. Because let me tell you, ninjas, 
First off, yeah, I did not tell this to anyone. First off, the day before the meet, Coach Burrell, who is in charge of high jump, I always talk about Coach Foster, but yeah, Coach Burrell, he's like, I put your seed height as 4-4, and my PR is free 8. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, oh no. So, yeah, I was already coming in there being like, okay, today's the day to like fly. This bitch gotta fly. Um, you know, I didn't really have exact worries because I knew I was gonna get something, right? I mean, if the bar starts at free eight. No, no, it does not. First off, I guess it does say it on the official schedule that they had there, like on paper. It said the starting high was four feet. But like online, it said every single girl's event is free eight. So I thought they're gonna start at free eight. And no, literally this, oh God, I don't wanna expose this goal, but this coach who's from, not even from the Torrance schools, like literally from the LA area, he literally just looked at the paper. He looked at all the seed heights. He's like, okay, we're gonna make the starting height four, four, no, four feet because it seems like, because, you know, this one girl seed height was like free six, and he's like, no, we're not gonna go free six, we're too cool for that. So like, basically, I had to jump two levels ahead of me, because there's free eight, there's free 10, then there's four. And I never even attempted to do four. I attempted to do free 10, but not four. So, yeah. And even this coach, these coaches got mad at me because we're doing the practice thing. And, like, it's practice. And I just knocked over the bar accidentally. He's like, he's like, if you're going to change your mind, then don't jump. I'm like, I'm like, okay, but we're practicing. And, like, this other coach, he's like, he's like, you know, if we're, if we're, since we're doing practice, he might as well put up the ropes, otherwise it's gonna take too long. I'm like, oh my god, what did I do? What did I do? So, high jump was just chaotic. I had way more fun with the 5k, just because, oh, going back to the 5k, thank you! Everyone, yeah, everyone from my team's probably watching this, not everyone, but you know, thank you, god dang it, for cheering, because like, that was amazing. I, I don't know how... Like, you know, I thought, okay, okay, for a smile, people are cheering, normal stuff. But then, like, it was the second and third mile, I'm like, oh my god, they're still cheering, how? Because, you know, usually you get, usually the cheering people, like, get bored by, like, the second mile or something. Or third, in this case. And I would think third is just the limit, but no, you guys went all out. So, thank you, ninjas. And I tried returning a favor I should have recorded it. Like, I was doing nothing, but I was just cheering so hardcore. My voice is, like, dying and everything. But, like, I should have recorded the DMR. I did record that weird um, leg swing circle that you guys did. Because, like, literally, Will, he's like, oh, my God, look. I'm like, what? And there's, like, 20 people doing leg swings in a circle. I'm like, oh, my God, I have to record this. But I forgot to record the DMR. And that's where... I didn't realize that many people was in the DMR. So I just kind of ignored it. Because I thought, oh, there can't be that many people in the DMR. There's only, like, what? Two teams? No, there's, like, two, like, relay teams per school. So it's basically, like, eight people. So I'm like, oh, there's barely anyone in this race. But apparently, everyone was in that race. I'm like, oh, great. So, <clears throat> Yeah. Should have recorded that, but you guys did amazing. High jump people, who's probably watching this, you did amazing. You see it for yourself. I mostly record you guys, so, you know. And everyone on the whole team, shot, put, Paul, Volt, Sprinters, whoever's watching this as well, you did amazing, and we're going to wreck these hoes at Penn tomorrow, starting at 2, and hopefully I'll record everything. We don't have weird relays or anything like that. But there is the regular events. I'm doing the two mile, and there's going to be the mile, the 800. There's now hurdles, and I love recording hurdles. Uh, high jump as well. I'm going to be doing that again. Hopefully, they don't put the freaking starting height at four feet. At least free 10. Okay? I can barely jump free 10, but you know what? Better than four, okay? So, high jump. Hopefully, that goes good. And I'll force someone to record my two mile, maybe? So, yeah, overall, Ninja, Zamperini was pretty weird, not just because of the events they had, but 
Literally, it was just two new whole events I never did in competition, and I did it. I wouldn't really... Okay, statistically, I did not wreck my 5K. I did not wreck these hoes. But you know what? I feel like a woman. I said it in my Instagram. I literally feel like a woman because I feel like... I, I feel like... Who's the gosh darn first astronaut on space? Let's just say Neil Armstrong. That's what everyone says. I feel like gosh darn Neil Armstrong in space being like, hey, I'm the first astronaut here. I'm like the first, not only the first girl doing it, just like one of the first people doing the 5K from her school. So I feel really special as far as that. And you know what? Even for high jump, I, I kind of feel like a woman from that too. Because like, I was scared to death, believe me, but I still did. I still attempted four feet. When I clearly knew I couldn't do it, but I still did it anyway. So, you know what? I'm a little proud of myself as far as that. So, ninjas, try new things. Heck, if you go, if you always do the 800, do a two-mile. If you do hurdles all the time, do a high jump. Try new things, I guess. And that's what I learned as Amparini, really. Because, like I said, there wasn't even a two-mile. There was barely any regular events. Straight up did a 5K and high jump. And it went good. So, yeah. Ninjas, I'm going to see you at the track meet prob practically tomorrow, but I'll post it, like, way after that because I'm lazy. But I'll see you, ninjas, in the next video. Bye, ninjas!